Ooh, that looks tasty. Oh, I love you so much. I will always be there for you. Well, I love you so much that when I die, I'm totally going to turn into like a butterfly and then like just wait until you're about to die. And then I'm going to like flutter on over and like sit on your forehead. And then when you die, then we'll be like together again. Like so romantic. Am I right? Welcome folks to the Hungry Gamers back with another game review. And today we are talking about Fluttering Souls, designed by Joel Lewis with art by Dahana Louise Watson and published by Good Games Publishing. And I do apologize if I pronounced any of those names incorrectly. Now, what Fluttering Souls is, is it is a simple set collection game. And, and what's going to happen is you're going to play between three and five rounds. Obviously, it's a first player to win three rounds is the winner game in which you are going to be collecting different butterflies, which are laid out on a different pattern each different game, and whomever wins three rounds first is the ultimate winner. Now the title of the game comes from an old legend, and I do not know the origin of the legend, so I'm not going to pretend like I do, of the white butterfly and how the white butterfly actually carries the soul of past loved ones. and. In the game, it has this legend, and it's a it's a lovely, lovely little story. But that's where the fluttering souls comes from, this idea that butterflies kind of carry the souls of, uh, of loved ones, and hence the beauty of them. Anyhow, all that said, if you are not interested in how this game is played, and just want to jump ahead to my final thoughts, then you're going to want to go to the timestamp on the screen, right? Now, for those of us still here, let's talk about how this game works. So... What's going to happen is you're going to determine who is the first player, and whoever is not the first player is going to get the Great Egg Fly here. The Great Egg Fly is the tiebreaker at the end of each round and has one special ability, and I'll show you what that is in just a moment. Now, what you're going to do on your turn is extremely complicated and extremely difficult to figure out. You're going to take a card. Not just any card, though. You have to take a card that is not covered by anything else. So if you've ever played something along the lines of Seven Wonders Duel, you recognize this. So I could take either of these cards. I could not take this one. However, if this card was gone, then this one is available. If this card was gone, this card over here would flip over. Now, the player that has the Great Egg Fly, they have the lovely option of, if they ever take a card, they can then take the Egg Fly and put it back on the board, though any card that was revealed would still flip over. And so that would block off those cards that are up there. And you're going to play until the entire board is cleared. Once the board is clear, you're simply going to add up your points. Your points are determined by the sets that you have collected. So for example, the monarchs here, if at the end of the round you have two monarchs, you get two points. If you have three monarchs, you get five points. If you have four monarchs, you get eight points. You got your 88s here, Two of them, every set of two, get you three points, and hopefully you see how that works. The only thing worth pointing out is there are the swallow tails here, which if you have one of them are worth two points, but if you have both of them, it counts as a wild card for any other set that you want. Whoever wins each round gets a white butterfly. Whoever gets three white butterflies first is the winner. Good for you. That's it. That is the entire game. So, what do I like about this game? First off, the art on the cards is beautiful. I'm, I've never really been one to look at butterflies, but these butterflies are just very, very pretty. I played this with my wife, and she just thought they were stunning, and, and I have to agree with her. The art is fantastic. It's lovely. The cards look good. Everything about it is just beautiful. These little... Butterfly meeples are nice, chunky, they're good. The box, super tiny, easy to transport, fantastic. This is going to be a fantastic game to take to a coffee shop or something like that because you can play through an entire game in 20 minutes or less. Easy, easy, and that's even if you go to five full rounds. It's just that fast. 
The other thing I like is, and I'm shocked that I like as much as I do, is this little egg fly. This is a great little mechanic. It takes away the advantage of going first. It's a simple tiebreaker. But shockingly, there is so much more strategy involved with this card than I would have expected. The fact that you can see what's coming next and, oh, nope, sorry, too bad, you can't get it, you gotta take this first, is great. I really enjoy it. And I really appreciate that what this game has done is it's taken a single mechanic. It has focused on that mechanic, and that is it. And because of that, it is an enjoyable game. It doesn't pretend to be anything else. It is a set collection game. It is a set collection game for two people. That is it. So what are my quibbles about the game? First off, just be aware this is a game with a, with, a, with a single mechanic. That's it. You are doing set collection. When a card's revealed, it flips over. That is it. And really, the only variance you're getting is every round, you're going to have a, a different layout that you're putting out, which does vary things a little bit. But really, the core of the game is still the same. And this is fun. It looks different. But again, there's only a few different types of butterflies you can get. And that's what you're doing. And then my other quibble with the game is, I've already talked about how gorgeous these cards are. I wish those were as pretty. I feel like that's a missed opportunity, that you read the story, the legend of the white butterfly, and it's this beautiful story. And then these are fine. They're nice. They feel good. They're chunky. But I feel like it's a little bit of a miss there. But that's it. That is easily my fastest review ever. But this is a game that if you like set collection and are looking for something to take on the go, something that when we can all go to coffee shops again, you can just play with somebody while you have coffee. In fact, you can have whole conversations while you play. Then this is exactly what you are looking for. It is one of the few games that I have that truly is a single mechanic game. And what it does, it does right. So there you have it, folks. That is Fluttering Souls. Simple, quick, easy, pretty butterflies. And as always, if I made any mistakes in the rules description, please let me know in the comments with the timestamp. I'll say that will be extremely embarrassing because I believe there are three rules in the game. So if I messed one up, shame on me. As always, if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.